we are talking The Last In, directed by David Kwan and stars Emily Hall. Oh boy, I try to avoid kind of hyperbole ranting and stuff like that when I do my reviews, but sometimes a movie comes along that is less pleasurable to watch than getting a rectal exam with a cactus, let me just tell you this. So let's discuss The Last In, oh boy. So it focuses on this young girl who gets in a car accident, essentially gets injured, has partial amnesia, kind of finds this seemingly kind of, you know, run-down kind of old inn, hotel-type place, surrounded by a mist. She goes in there and it's all kind of like very antique, shall we say, um, with weird kind of characters that seem to be there. And when she's there, this weird stuff starts to happen. Ghosts, demonic sacrifices, weird visions, all sorts. What will happen if you can make it to the end you will find out. Can I say anything that is positive about this film? There's one good special effect uh, where a, uh, a kind of a, a girl gets impaled in the head. Um, and if you're a fan of surreal art, uh, abstract kind of paintings and stuff like that, then you may kind of like this to a point. Or if you just do a shitload of drugs and kind of just want to watch a bizarre mess of a film, then this movie may be the one for you. But boy, this one is a rough watch. The story is meandering and nonsensical at the same time. It has a kind of a, well, it's a twist ending, which is exactly what you think it's going to be. Um, it, you know, it's no, it's no surprise where this movie ends up. The acting is awful and it's for some reason kind of really poorly ADR'd. This movie is apparently an American movie but a lot of it was filmed in China but we have uh, what appears to be kind of like western actors but they're kind of overdubbed like if you ever watch an Asian movie which is then overdubbed in English with like but with Chinese kind of speaking um, you know Chinese actors but speak English it's kind of like that it's weird. Um, the special effects are awful. It's like retail versions of effects packages that you could have buy over the counter and then put in this film. Um, it's completely nonsensical, and it's that's partially by design, I think. It's it's meant to have this uh, this dreamlike kind of quality to it, but it's just uninteresting cartoon characters. A boring meandering story that makes absolutely no logical sense and any, any kind of person any kind of realistic kind of characterization whoosh, out that window you know forget about it if you want realistic characters they're just kind of like it's like a child's vision this this movie has like this kind of like childlike um quality about it i suppose it's like a kind of kids movie kids movie or a kids kind of ch a tv show but a really cheap one but with a couple of adult scenes, like a sex scene, and I say a girl gets kind of impaled in the head in the one kind of decent kind of effect shot that they have. So it's obviously not for kids, um, but it has this sort of like weird sort of like afternoon kids kind of TV, cheaper than Goosebumps, just like Goosebumps on the temp for the budget uh, kind of feel to it. It's just awful. The story is just is just meandering abstract nonsense. And it's it's an embarrassment for everyone involved. It is just awful. This movie is boring. It doesn't make any sense. It's any type of kind of realistic kind of... You just forget. It's not even worth me saying it. I mean, character development and, and this film should not be in the same same sentence. It's just, re it's just ridiculous. Uh, terrible wigs, terrible costuming, terrible effects, terrible makeup. Everything about this movie, I've, you know, it's rare that I find a movie where I really struggle to find anything positive to say about it. Outside of if you just want to torture yourself or you just want to watch a completely bonkers movie without any type of like sense or logic or narrative flow or realistic characters or uh, engaging kind of effects, then check this one out. Ooh, this one is definitely a contender for the worst movie of the year, in my opinion. Uh, we're not there yet at the end of the year, but we'll see. It's a 1 out of 10. This movie was painful. It has, has some good cover art in the, in the English uh, DVD case, though, so there you go. 
one out of ten. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.